Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy here. And to what made it into my hobby craft basket. Well, <clears throat> there's probably some things in here that you expect to see after what if you've watched my shopping video. And um, maybe some you didn't. So what did I what did I buy? Now the irony of owning a yarn shop albeit an online yarn shop and going to somewhere else and spending this much money on yarn is not lost on me but there is methods as well in my madness this yarn i got with a view to making stuff <laughs> but if i don't i can bundle it can't i and put it in my mystery boxes which you know at www hobbyrocks.co.uk I have mystery boxes and I've now uploaded some new ones which are yarn weight based so you can get an Aran mystery box which is a four weight um, or you can get a three weight or a chunky they're all up now as well as the other ones that I've done and, and there are lots of different ones to choose from okay so this I absolutely adore this color and this yarn it is the Hobbycraft everyday DK now in one of these boxes is my bill but I did show the prices I've got hair tickling my face I did show the prices on my video but I absolutely love this color it is gorgeous and Sophia was shopping with us and she was in love with this color as well when I said isn't that pretty and because uh, Sophia does love a pretty yarn and um, isn't it just so I got it's 50 gram balls that this comes in so I got I got four of them um, so it's just really 200 grams, but it is my favourite of their colours. Um, I've said I had a lot of peach yarns in the past, but none quite as gorgeous and as soft as this one. So it's a decent sized strand on your DK. Now on my shopping video, somebody did point out that a lot of the balls are in disarray, and that was true. Um, I think, you know, they've obviously had a lot of people uh, sorting through yarns and maybe one of the reasons for it is that we've just had the 12 week school holiday so when people have been in their yarn shopping perhaps they've taken their children with them who've been messing around with the yarns i don't know but they're never completely intact they're they're kind of a bit skew with it's a, <laughs> an englishism i guess um i should have had that as my word of the day over on my rocks chat but yeah skew with um they are a little not all of them I was quite um, careful is the word to pick balls that are, are kind of intact and good the only time that I might not have done that was if I was dealing in the clearance side just saying maybe there are some of those clearance yarns in my stash I don't know but this one was a really good value anyway let's get the net light working 100% acrylic got to be premium sorry that is the softest yarn and um it is peach uh where are we obviously why do they do that um okay 137 meters in this little ball you can machine wash it and you can do cold ironing and tumble dry carefully so pretty good all-rounder i think and i love that color so equally i love this color and the another irony is not lost on me that i could buy this wholesale <laughs> yeah i can but of course if i were to buy this wholesale i'd have to put in a big order and i've just recently added to my shop inventory so i'm not ready to put in another big order so it was easier for me to buy my three balls of this absolutely gorgeous phenomenally beautiful yarn and um don't they look good together but obviously this is a chunky and this is a dk so it'd have to be something i was doing crazy textures on so this is hayfield bonus chunky extra value and it's a hundred gram ball you can tumble dry machine wash it it is 150 yards 137 meters 100 percent acrylic and called paprika which is beautiful absolutely gorgeous now, i'm sure i've got a yarn in my store called paprika 
But isn't it beautiful? I absolutely love that. I thought, you know, with Halloween coming, I nearly lost my bag then. Nearly lost it. And so yeah, I got, as previously mentioned, three of those. Okay, so this one, I did mention as I was shopping that I really, really loved this colour. And this is again, Hayfield Bonus Breeze. Again, I could buy this wholesale, but I didn't want to, do you know, I don't know, maybe I should have put in a big order. I don't know. But isn't it beautiful? You know I'm a big sucker for blues, but this is kind of blue and teal colour. Um, let's have a look. Bonus Breeze. I've had this before, um, but not in this colour, obviously. And this is machine washable too, 100 gram ball. It's 280 metres, 100% acrylic, and it's a DK weight yarn. And this is called Mist, 479 Mist. It's beautiful, I love it. So I did buy one, two, and let's get rid of this back. Three and four of those. Because I've got just beautiful. Okay, no bill in there. Another little bag. They didn't overfill them. Possibly because I had to pay for the bags, and maybe they just wanted to charge me for the bags. I bought a Halloween scoopy kind of pumpkin kit, which was in there. I'll put that down there. Now, they sell magazines. <laughs> so, um, with a view to doing my open with me's, um, I bought a couple of magazines. Now, they are knitting. There's Let's Knit, but it's got this absolutely gorgeous kit. And this one was... 100 days of knits for Christmas and on the back knit and natter so um, yeah I think there's two two little books there so I got those two and I think I've got another one somewhere so there's not a great deal in this bag now what is this is this the bill I don't believe it would be screwed up like that actually it might be how did that get that screwed up? Maybe this is Gary's one, because Gary bought something from there. I think this is Gary's one, which is why it's all screwed up. Not mine. Okay, so this, I've used this yarn, excuse me, I've got an itch, because hair is tickling me. What is happening with the neckline? I've used this yarn before. I used it to um, make a tote bag, um, although, I. Th Oh, it's the same it's identical um if you look at my tote bag it's the same yarn but different colors but i liked this because it is such cute rainbow colors and it is the rico design the creative cotton color coated the 50 gram balls 125 meters and it is uh 50 cotton and 50 acrylic I love it. So I did buy a few of these because they're only 50 gram balls. So I got one, two. Three, four. See what I mean about I, I decided to look through and get the best balls I could find and not ones that are in disarray. So that was another another bag of bikes of dust. This one, however, is more full. So this one, um, Possibly my bill is in here somewhere. When I say bill, you know I mean, um, you know I mean the um, receipt. That's the word. I'm sure I stuffed it in. I've got a couple of little leaflets from them, which I will have a read of later. But this is the ones where it was a little bit, and it's because these donuts they are hard to keep intact. But they had this in the clearance, and I have bought lots of this groovies in the yarn before, in other colours like rainbow colours. But I loved this blue colour. Now let's see if I can see too much of the band. It is um, Knit Craft by Hobbycraft's own one. And it is 50, no, 90 metres. 90 metres. And I've got a feeling it's, they say it's fashion, but I've used this before and it's more like a four weight. And this is Blue Mix. That's all they call it, Blue Mix. But they deem it fashion yarn, but I've used it before and it does work up as a four weight. I made a hat 
with my last lot and other things so I did get a few but they are getting a bit undressed they do need kind of um, pulling back into a little bit of shape um, because these were in the clearance now not all of the groovers in the yarn was in the clearance and I've got a feeling they were just two pounds a ball but um, I was trying to pick the best of the bad bunch of um, yarn that was in a mess <laughs> but ones that were easy to kind of remedy um, but it, they these donuts they don't often keep their shape too well if you have them for a long time and that's obviously what's happened with these they've been on the shelf for quite a while and uh, there's I think I've got five four or five of them there we go but that's for my stash anyway um, so it didn't matter if it was a little bit falling apart so um, <laughs> I should have done a Sardar Hayfield order shouldn't I when I now look and see how much Sardar Hayfield I bought I couldn't resist this one isn't it lovely now this one is the bonus chunky tweed and it's extra value but I can't remember how much it was and if I find my it will be on the video the shopping video anyway machine washable 150 yards 96% acrylic 4% viscose and this is called storm cloud isn't it gorgeous I love this one um, I wasn't enamoured by a lot of the bonus, but the ones that I've got here are lovely. Really lovely. Sorry, there we go. Then I've got one, two. I wanted to make myself something out of that. Really like it. Nice and subtle. Uh oh, I'm going to lose my bag. Hang on. Four I bought of those. Four of Storm Cloud. And I've got another magazine with another thing now what I've been decided to do with these um, little bits and bobs that come free in the magazines the ones that I will never use um, which are majority all of them really uh, occasionally I'll get something in and I think oh I might use that to this date I never have but um, I'm gonna pop them in my orders when people order from me from my uh, my website then I'm going to put in some of these goodies um, as long as there's tolerance in the postage because um, obviously I can't push it up to the next post band that cost me a fortune but I'm going to start I have actually made a start putting a few bits and pieces I've got some small packs of um, yarn and some small amigurumis and some are knitted some are crocheted I've got um, crochet hooks that I've been putting in that sort of thing so I will continue to do that in my in my orders um, when I can and so we're getting low now into the, the bag and I this is one that I bought because well I just love the colour but I want to say something about and I can't find my my bill to tell you um, prices but they are on the shopping video as I said um, you will all know if you've watched me for any length of time that I absolutely love the yarn called Twist and Shout by Hobbycraft and I've made quite a lot with it in the past and I do believe there is some behind me here and this whole uh, section here is um, their yarn the Twist and Shout yarn so I don't really need any but I have and some up there as well because there's just too much to put in one place so I've got quite a lot of it and um, I thought I might buy a little bit more but it was five pounds of all and uh, there was there seemed to me no reason for it to be that much it's never been that expensive and um, it's only because it's become popular I guess that they've hiked the price of that up but they haven't hiked the price of any of the others and um, so I decided I'm not gonna buy it because if you look at it it's a hundred gram ball they had Karen simply soft there which is almost a 200 gram ball when you think about it. They're usually about 180 something grams, which is weird, I know, but they do have strange ball weights. And there's a five pound 50. And I thought that's from the USA. And this is from the UK. And I thought, no, I'm not gonna pay five pounds per ball for Twist and Shout anymore. So not that I paid it before, it never was that much. 
but there's not a chance that I'm going to do it. So um, there's other yarns, they're all gorgeous and um, I've still got quite a lot anyway, more than I'm gonna use this year, so I didn't buy any, which is sad because I usually get it, but I'm not paying that for it. I'm not, it's just overpriced. Anyway, one that wasn't was this Baby Brilliance. Again, this was in the clearance and um, I've got two balls of that. Um, let's have a little rookie. Um, it's machine washable. Um, and all that stuff. 100 grams. It's a DK weight. And the yarn length is 310 metres. 75% premium acrylic and 20% polyamide, 5% polyester. Well, I guess that is the Lurex. But I've used this lots of times. I've made a few scarves and stuff with it. And I love this colour. So I just bought a couple of balls. It was in the clearance. Again, I was very careful to choose balls that were not all over the shop. And um, this one as well was in clearance. And I thought I got more than this. But, oh, no, no. There is a reason I didn't. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous when you look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I loved it, so I had to buy some. Let me put a couple down. Uh, it was kind of getting a little bit unruly, but um, these were the best ones they had. It is a Women's Institute yarn, which they usually do on a three for two anyway. So um, in the clearance, you don't get three for two, obviously. You just get the price of it. And this is soft and silky. The reason I didn't buy much of it is because it's a four ply. So uh, it's a sport weight yarn across the pond. But I loved these colours. And when I looked at the strand, although it says it's a four ply, I have DK yarns that are this thick. Remember Derrimores? They've gone under now, but most of their yarns were thin. And I've got lots of yarn that is this thickness that they have claimed is DK. So it's not the thinnest of four ply sport weight. So I decided to get it. Well, these are 100 gram balls. Um, you can, it says mild wash and cold iron. Yarn length is 270 meters and it's 100% microfiber acrylic. Um, called pink mix not really pink is it? it's more orange oh well there is a bit of pink in there but I wouldn't call it pink mix I think I'd have called it orange mix but yeah decided and there's a different part of the wind this one I guess has more pink so you can see that's what I got that's all I bought say all have you noticed how I've kind of lent towards the oranges and blues this time round, whether it be peach, burnt orange, which I think they called paprika, didn't they? Well, don't knock it all down. A little bit of rainbow, but mostly blues. And um, this one, which I absolutely love that. Um, I'm going to see if I can make myself a nice hat and scarf and mittens with that. I think I've got enough. Um, this one, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it. I did need a rainbow, which this it would be perfect for, but cotton isn't what I needed to make it with. So, although the colours were perfect, the the type of yarn isn't. So, um, I don't know exactly what happened to my receipt. Must be in my purse. Doesn't matter. It was all very reasonable prices, as you can see on the shopping video. I did show them, but um, I wasn't prepared, sadly, to pay five pounds per ball for the twist and shout which I do love but there are many yarns that I love so I didn't need to but thank you for watching tell me what you like best I mean if you can pick one they're all just gorgeous and uh, yummy now uh, the biggest job I have is finding out where I can put it thanks for watching stay safe take care and I'll see you soon bye for now